today's story it's about a girl, a girl with her toys. The name of the story is A Shelf Full of Dolls. Sarah's daddy had a job at the airport. Most of the time he went to work in the morning and came home every night. But sometimes he flew away to different countries and stayed there for a few days. Every time he came back from a trip abroad, Sarah's daddy bought her a doll. She had a different doll from every country he visited. Sarah's daddy had put up some shelf on Sarah's bedroom wall so that she could look at her collections of doll all the time. One day, he added a new shelf next to the others. All ready for the new doll, I'll be bringing back from my next trips, he said. It's a very long shelf for one doll, said Sarah, looking puzzled as she waved her daddy goodbye. Goodbye, daddy. After a week, daddy returned and brought Sarah the new doll he had promised. And what a strange doll it was. It had no arms or legs. It was made of paint, wood, and rattle. This is a Russian doll, Daddy smiled. As he unscrewed its body and found another doll inside. Then Sarah unscrewed the second doll and found another. On and on she went until there were nine beautiful Russian dolls, each one a little bit smaller than the other. Now I know why you put up such a long shelf, laughed Sarah as she placed the doll in a row. The end. Right. Now comes the second story. The second story is about a boy and a strange machine. A strange machine. A stranger? No, it's a machine that looks like it has a big pencil. And the story's name is The Professor's Pencil and it goes like this. Jack lived next door to Professor Smart, who spent all day and most of the night inventing things. I wish could you could invent something to help me, said Jack with a grin, as he sat outside on the step, practicing his hand drawing in an exercise book. I most certainly can't, replied the professor, and he rushed off to start work straight away. All that day and most of the next, Jack could hear rattling and banging coming from the next door. Finish at last, cried professor from over the fence. Jack jumped up. Huh? at once and ran round to his house to take a look. There in the garden was the strangest machine Jack had ever seen. What is that? asked Jack in amazement. A machine from making full stop, said the professor with pride. Jack laughed <laughs> until he cried. <laughs> but I can do that easily with one small pencil. Oh dear, said the professor. Of course you can't. What a silly man I am. So never mind, said Jack smiling. Your machine would be perfect for planting that seeds. So I think Jack would use that machine to plant seed for his father. So because the, bush, the pencil was so big, it would poke hole on the ground. Then they could use the hole to plant seed inside it. The end. The next story. Here's today's last story. It's slightly longer. It's about an ostrich. Ostrich and castle. Yes, ostrich and what he found. And the name of the story is called Ozzy's Umbrella. 
Ostrich. Uh, uh, uh. Aussie the ostrich. Aussie the ostrich. Right. Every morning, Aussie the ostrich went for a run across the plain. Now, as you know, ostrich can run very fast indeed, but they cannot fly. Aussie really wanted to fly. If I run fast enough, one day I may take off and fly in the air. He thought. Sad to say, he never did. One fine morning, after a long hard run, Ozzy the ostrich stopped for a rest. As he looked down on the ground, he spotted a brightly coloured snake. Lovely morning for a run, giggled Ozzy, because he knew that snake never ran anywhere. When the snake didn't reply, Ozzy felt a bit ashamed. I was only teasing," he said as he bent down to the snake. "Sorry." Suddenly, Ozzy heard loud laughter. <laughs> it was a little rhino who had stopped to see what was happening. "It's not a snake, you silly ostrich! It's an umbrella." Oh, as Ozzy opened the umbrella and held it high above his head, a strong breeze. Blew over the plain, and gently lifted the startled ostrich into the air. Ooh, ooh. I'm flying, gasped Ozzy. I'm really flying. The animal below got such a shock as they looked up and saw an ostrich gliding above the treetops. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, a startled crane flew beside Ozzy for a while. Never thought I'd see an, an ostrich fly. He called. I'm off to tell my friend about this. Ozzy the ostrich flew around happily all day. <laughs> When he, the wind dropped, he floated gently to the ground. Oh, oh, that was really amazing! Gasped Ozzy as he carefully folded up the umbrella. I shall carry this wherever I go. And when the wind blows, I shall be off on another flying adventure. <laughs> the end. Good night, everybody. Good night, baby.